Hi, this is TapCat, and welcome back to Battle Brothers. This series always features combat, but today you're really going to get your money's worth. For starters, we'll pick up where we left off last time and storm a brigand fortress that pits us against easily the toughest enemies we've faced so far. And if that isn't enough, we follow it up by attacking another fortress, this one manned by the first undead we've had to fight. Yep, today we put the battle into Battle Brothers. Well, let's see. I'm a little nervous about the poachers and the raiders. This is supposed to only be one skull, but it seems like it's quite a bit harder. I'm going to move him here. Yeah, I really was hoping that I could take those guys out. But let's do this. Wow. I mean, a 69% chance, you know, I felt like it was definitely worth trying for sure. Sadly, that didn't pan out very well for me. Yeah, here we go. I really hate the enemy archers. Um, it always seems like, you know, my ability to hit. All right, they're just backing up. <sighs> you guys suck. Well, we'll do what we can. And they're still backing up. Wow. That's pretty terrible. <sighs> if only they would step up and like let me have the freaking high ground. That's what I want. I mean, I'm not saying it makes good strategic sense for them. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what I want. Should I come here? I guess I can't. Uh, yep. I think this is total wishful thinking. Oh, I can't move forward anymore. Yep. You come here. I mean, well, this is a horrible placement. But it would be much worse if they were actually going to move up and do something about it, which they're apparently not. <laughs> wow. Rafe is a real speed demon on the initiative roll. Okay. So they're just backing up. I wish their uh, archers would back up rather than attack, but that's wishful thinking. Okay, well, I got another chance here. All right, at least I did some damage. Because that's what's just so discouraging when you just have these turns go by and you accomplish literal nothing. I guess I just have no choice. I hate that because right now... Well, let me do this. I'm going to wait. Maybe they'll move forward... <laughs> Super unlikely, but and this jackass with the freaking high ground. What if I came? Ah, I just gotta go. Jerk. <laughs> I think I will spear wall. I'm going to try to make him come to me. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. Oh, I got an idea. Yeah, you stay right where you're at, big boy. Uh, uh, let's play Hay Bale. <laughs> do you know that game? Because I do. It's kind of fun in a way. For me. All right, Robert. How about we try to bust this guy's skull? 
Oh, baby. Okay, the flail might be good. <laughs> uh, okay, that could have been worse. Can I get up here? This is kind of risky because, wow, that's a lot of guys. Well, he's not going to step up. He has a bow. There's two other guys plus him. But it'll rack this dude's morale. I'm going to do it. It would also pull them off the high ground, which is not terrible. I feel like it's really dangerous to keep Hartwig where he's at. So I'm going to pull him back. I don't want him to die. I think that's, yeah, that's our new tailor. Okay, so this is the only really bad thing about moving him here, now that I'm realizing it. Could I come, like, here? It's kind of horrible. Let's wait with, oh, I already waited. Oh, that was, okay, this was just a terrible move. Hmm. I actually think I'm going to stay where I'm at. I'm just going to shield wall. Okay, I did not expect that necessarily. He's bleeding. So his resolve is going to be tested and he's wavering. Can I possibly? Yeah, let's try. Oh, that's too bad. I think I may try to move Godric over here. So that's why, like, I can't have this, man. They're going to wreck me. Okay, good. I was a little nervous because we had a worse chance. Okay, his shooting days are over. Come on. I really need to try to make short work of some of these guys if I possibly can. I mean, we have two potential kills here. Okay, this guy doesn't have any headgear. So I'm going to aim for his head. I only have a coin flip chance. Oh, man. Seriously, this is sick. All right, let's try for the kill. We got it. Oh, man. The nose getting it done. He's bringing the pain on these boys. All right, so the good news is, I mean, we really cut into their numbers. But they still have five guys on their feet. And a pretty good little cluster over here. So what I'm thinking, I want to bring him forward. There's no way he can attack this turn. But I sure would like, yeah, I was afraid of that. I got greedy. I should have just gone straight. And then next turn, I could have blocked that guy off. Yeah, because that's the problem. Now he still shoots. Thank goodness he missed, but... Okay, let's see. I come here. This guy does have a helmet, unfortunately. Uh, what are my chances of hitting? Oh, he's fleeing, too. 55%, 55%. Well, then, let's go for the head. Yep, and he's running. Okay. Oh, brother. Can you hit anything? Not really. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad. I think we injured him pretty badly. I don't generally like a one-on-one -on -one like that. 
But somebody with a good two-handed weapon, well, a two-handed weapon, I don't know if it's a good one, <laughs> against an archer, you know, at melee range, that's my idea of a good fight. If you got to do one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, man. So close. Uh, I think I'll come here and try for the kill. Yep. And you are not going to be able to do anything for me this turn, brother. Um, you know, I'm a little anxious about this guy. I think I'm going to bring Rafe back. And if I can, yeah. I'd much rather he shoot at guys, you know, that have a shield and stuff. Only 15%? 30 that way. All right. I guess that's the high ground difference, but wow, it's disappointing, you know, to have to go after the guy who uh, isn't running or who is already running. Um, yeah, it's kind of the same thing. I can't, I can't take the high ground, so. I'm beating the crap out of his helmet. I got that going for me. So we get some parting shots as he tried to leave and we kept him from going anywhere. Now, can I finish this guy? Yes. <laughs> That's quite a death rattle. Okay. Well, we are getting pretty darn close here. I will move him up. Only 38%. So we need guys up on the high ground. There's just no way around that. You know what? I want to come after this guy. I'm tired of letting him take pot shots. And this guy's morale is going to join his because, you know, another guy is about to die and um, he's surrounded. We're starting to, you know, wreck his armor too. So. Okay. Well. This dude's armor is already gone, so there's no point really aiming for his head where he still has armor. <laughs> oh, nice. I didn't even have... Yeah, he's fleeing now, too. So this is the only guy who's not technically fleeing. And we're going to just try... Oh, brother. Come on, man. I want to run him down. I want my experience. I want as much loot as I can get. Okay. That's right. <laughs> That's what happens when you cross the brothers. Uh, yeah. I think what I... I think he's just not going to be useful for the rest of this fight, to be honest. Okay. Can I just please finish this guy? Maybe I should have left him for the flail guys. I don't know. But I really, really want to just, like, be done. Maybe I should have let him run. I don't know. But... I don't know. I feel like uh, you do you do kind of owe it to yourself to try and get as much as you can out of this fight because like we're all beat up and it's a thing. Okay, this guy dies in the coming turn. There we go. So out of all that, Rafe got to level up and Honka got to level up. I'm good with that. And we got some stuff. Uh, the mace is probably worth doing. Yeah, I'm pretty good with that. We even got a hand axe. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. 
All right, let's go get our reward. So I'm up to 869 and I'm going to get another 330 crowns. So that's not bad. I definitely think, you know, we have a chance here to potentially upgrade armor. And, um... Markdorf no longer... Oh, has ambush trade. Okay. I don't know why I was reading that as they no longer have established trade routes. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> How does that make sense? So let's do the level ups real quick. And then um, we'll just call it here because we kind of need to get going. I'm going to do Pathfinder. And then Will Reich will definitely take the plus three. Okay, that's pretty terrible. So let's grab the fatigue. And his health is really low, so let's go ahead and bolster that. I mean, his resolve is really bad too, but I mean, you're again, like you're like a China cop when your health is that low. Uh, I am, oh, before I do it. Hmm, let's do this first. Wow, look at that. Plus one, plus one. For the two skills I most want him to have. Alright, I'm going to take health. And I'm going to take fatigue. And I'm going to take resolve. These are just both so terrible. That I'd rather at least get some value out of that. Rafe will take student. And then this is an easy choice. This is an easy choice. He has minus one range defense. I did not know that was possible. I genuinely did not. Uh, but I mean, part of, you know what? Like seriously, I am worried there could be some kind of penalty for being in the negative. So my inclination is just to boost fatigue like we have been. But I think I'm actually going to do this just in case there's some like extra negative modifier in combat for being negative that essentially makes him you know a pin cushion because he was getting beat up by the arrow last time but that doesn't necessarily mean anything but it does concern me so there's a fair number of these abilities i would like to have uh like shield expert would not be bad uh, Brawny would be very good, but I'm kind of leaning towards Pathfinder as just a basic one right now because you see how useful it is to be able to move around at the beginning of some of these fights. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and do it, but obviously we want some of this stuff. Like a rotation's really good. All right, so um, we are pretty good. Can I get more food? Yeah, let me do that. I'm definitely not buying any of that crap. And next, let's go ahead and buy a pitchfork. So the only question is whether I should buy the beat up one or not. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and buy the one that's in good shape. It doesn't cost that much money. I don't need it yet. That's basically for the next guy we recruit. And then... I think it's time to uh, to step up and start my next contract. Unless we do want to hire somebody. An apprentice. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead. Can I equip this guy? 20. Okay. Give him the pitchfork. Do we have a helm? We do not. But I can buy one possibly. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, I can. And I'm not worried about him having kind of a crappy one because he will be in back. Uh, by the way, how is he? Not... Uh, not terrible, actually. I mean, I don't know if he's amazing, but there's the hat. I couldn't, I couldn't find it. All right. I tell you what, how about we take a quest? If this will let me leave. 
it, we lost. Okay. 400 crowns. I accept. So is there going to be a location? Yes. That probably help if I unpaused. All right. Well, this will be interesting. My first fight with 12 men. Um, got a big morale boost for fulfilling our uh, ambition. I'm more than happy to see that. We got to go get the finger bone of Sir Gerhart. <laughs> wow, that's quite a little setup, the Overgrown Foundations, isn't it? Hopefully not too much for us to handle. E Ooh, undead. Okay. We will fight many ancient auxiliaries. Seven, to be exact. I will wait. And, hmm. Yeah, I'm, I would like to move forward with some of these guys, but I do need the front line to go first. That is definitely a thing. So, supposing, like I moved him here. Let's wait. Now him, I... Oh, wait a minute. That's still high ground. All right. All right. We might possibly get somewhere here. I don't know with the elevation changes if they can get particularly close to us. But we're gonna we're gonna see. If they did, it would be nice because we could get in a nice cheap shot at the end of this turn. It, let me wait with him. I really yeah, that's who I'm looking for. All right, so now these guys. I mean, I could move like one guy here and one guy here. He definitely needs to be in a little bit more protected spot. In fact, I didn't realize he didn't have any headgear, but fair enough, he doesn't. Let me see. One, two, three, four, four. Okay, I think I am going to move Rafe here. And he can't attack, so I won't worry about doing any more. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay, but see, some of us will get to take a shot. That's pretty awesome. If we could get a kill or two, and that might be too ambitious. I, I totally get that. But, oh, if we could. Oh, <laughs> Okay, uh, I will step up a notch with him. 60%. That's really the only... Oh, no, he has another good chance. But let's try this guy. Not terrible. We did wreck his armor. Now, Hartwig. Hit him. You didn't hit him. Perhaps you failed to understand my instructions, yes? Aberald, you have a 65% chance. Make him pay, buddy. That wasn't bad, actually. Okay, let's try to clunk this guy on the noggin. Doggone it. All right, mine off. 72%. Nice. And Hartwig. The nose. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Okay, ooh, 78. Come on, Will Wright. Good man. Can he hit anybody? You bet he can. Oh, yeah. We got our first kill. Okay, Robert. Nah, yeah, not bad. Okay, come on. That guy, mm, him and his stupid shield. 
Okay, but let me just point out, like that was a really good first turn for us. We got two guys half dead, one all the way dead. You know, a couple of guys lost their armor. I mean, actually he may not have had any to begin with, but. Uh, but yeah, seriously, that was pretty decent. Wow, I mean, for a hit, that didn't do a lot. Okay, him I'm going to wait. E, do I want to shield or spear wall? Because this guy kind of has to go into it. So I think I like spear wall here for him. Now, let's try and keep working this guy. I could even get the kill. Come on, Will Reich. Good man. Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty darn certain that with these guys, morale is just completely meaningless. Let's do that. He's another one. I think they have to come to him. Awesome. Um, I can either do shield wall but I think what I'll do is just wait let one of these guys move up and try to give him a good whacking uh, that didn't come out exactly like I intended <laughs> okay are these guys moving yeah there we go whoa okay that was interesting so let me see, can I, 74%, but they don't have any body armor. So actually I think I'm better off. <laughs> I'm still going through his stupid body, uh, his head armor. That's really strange. Yeah, that's fine. You go ahead and shield wall. So even with shield wall, my spear wall is hitting him. That's pretty awesome. All right. Wow. I only got, I had a 42% chance, but he still hit him. Okay. Let's see if uh, Rafe... Yes. See, we're not hurting their morale, but we did help our own, so that's nice. Not to mention, Rafe, you know, is still only level two, so getting him more experience, that's awesome. Okay, I don't really have any other targets I can go for, it looks like. I mean, I could come over here. Do we need to? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just keep the line right now. Um, same thing here, like, we'll just basically chill. 39 and nine. I'm gonna just wait. I need somebody to step up on their side. And unfortunately, oh, you can't, I see. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things where, um, should I, uh, I hate to move. Uh, their initiative is so poor that like all of us get to go and then they go. And normally that's actually a really good thing, but it's awkward when I really need them to kind of step up. Okay. Finally, somebody who can attack. I could really use an axe over there. I uh, probably am going to have to do some weapon swapping because this is pretty bad. Well, Rafe. No. Yeah, these shields are going to be an issue. All right. That's a good start. Okay. We're down to our last two. So this guy's doing a shield wall. <laughs> they both are. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just, ooh, boy. Yeah, okay, we do this. I just want my highest chance right now. Not good enough. Come on, man. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> Four 50% chance shots in a row. Not like freaky or anything that we miss them, but, you know, the odds were we really ought to have gotten at least one of those. But we didn't. 
I keep hitting that doggone shield, though. Okay. Um, I will not move forward with him yet. But I'm going to start moving some of these other guys up. Okay. Wow, I barely even heard his stupid head armor. Finally, somebody did something. Uh, now at least I can, this was my goal. Like, let's try and start moving some guys around, surround them, get some more shots. Because it gets tedious when you just keep swing and a miss. All right, we finally got that guy down. Now, here's my thing. I don't really want to move here for the simple fact that that gives him the high ground. Um, yeah, I don't mind coming here where we're on even footing. And I think what I will do too is like bring these guys over because I can attack him with a decent number of guys. You know, with all the pitchforks and stuff. So you just chill and the same. Yeah, <laughs> he's digging in. So this guy is pretty fatigued, Radolf is. Ooh, but fatigued or not, he put a dent in his skull. Come on, Robert, finish him. <sighs> All right, let me move over. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm not really like seriously grousing about it, but I, I am ready for this fight to end at this point. Because there's not really any tension or drama anymore. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just not going to put him in position to get the crap kicked out of him. Uh, he might be able to do something from here. Beautiful. Nobody leveled... Oh, Hartwig. The nose... Well, I'm going to get some decent helms out of here. That's good. Uh, these shields really suck. At least their durability does. But uh, yeah, 15 and 15. No, I definitely wouldn't keep those. Holy crap, a golden chalice worth 980. And I almost, did you see that? I almost clicked leave. Wow, I did that earlier in the game with just a, by complete accident, but oh my god, I would have crapped my pants. That would have really, because that was good loot. I actually paused it later when I did the video editing, and uh, the one wasn't too bad. If I can grab them, I think I missed my shot. I, I would kill these stupid direwolves, but I think I missed them. All right, I'm not going to fool with this all day. In fact, now I wish I hadn't gone after him because it's night. All right, we're running a little long, so we'll go back to town and pick things up when we come back. That's all for now, though. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.